<laughs> Does it not do anything? <laughs> it stalls out. This is so cool. Hey everyone, welcome back to Pine Hall Auto Diagnostics. We're at a local repair shop here looking at a 2015 Kia Soul. And technician says uh, it starts up, it barely runs. You give it gas, it does nothing. It's a GDI 1.6 liter, um, 152,000 miles. Okay, and we got some OBD2 data pulled up. It has not set any codes whatsoever, which is a little strange. Let's fire it up. Barely any vacuum in the intake manifold. It's running really rough and Oh, it can barely keep running. See, the, there's a the fuel pressure. Look at that short term trim, minus 25. Give it a little bit of gas. You can see the throttle position is opening. 80%. It's not running any better. Does it not do anything? <laughs> it stalls out. This is so cool. Um, right away, on a GDI engine, you want to check the high pressure fuel pump and see if it's leaking gasoline into the crankcase. So, oh, that smells really bad. It smells really, really bad like gasoline. And this oil looks disgusting. And you want to check if the level is overfilled. Is there gas getting into this oil? Let me wipe that off and see. So the oil is right on the full mark, but it looks disgusting. And it does smell like gasoline. So my first suspicion here is this high pressure fuel pump leaking fuel into the crankcase. I've been seeing this more and more in these GDI engines, over 100,000 miles. We saw that on the Volkswagen, uh, Tiguan. So right off the bat, you know, but would that explain why it doesn't rev up at all? I mean, if it's opening a throttle, why can't it actually rev up? That's kind of concerning. You know, could we have other issues? So if the fuel trim is so negative, let's say the oil is contaminated with fuel, and it's taking so much fuel away, it's almost stalling. Because when it starts up, it's not too bad. You can see the fuel rail pressure is fine. The throttle itself is opening 54%, which is nuts. We have absolutely no vacuum in our intake manifold. This thing is barely, barely running. Let's see if it set any codes. Okay. Throttle pedal position sensor switch A circuit high, throttle position B circuit low. Well, let's check engine lights not on. Let's focus on this throttle pedal position and the accelerator pedal position. So could the catalytic converter be clogged? Let's uh, shut it off, turn it back on, nope. I can rev it up just a hair, and the more you open the throttle, the more it falls on its face and stalls out. That really seems like a badly clogged catalytic converter, constipation problem. So pressure transducer timeout say before going too much further. So for some reason in the Kia menu we have no trouble codes and on the OBD2 side we did have some trouble codes but those could have been you know long term history. We did have that P0304 
So if we go home, think file, this one right here, full diagnostic report, 420, yep, and then misfires, and then this TPS, I think that's because I was playing with it while trying to start it. But yeah, <laughs> I can't believe it's set up 420 just running here in the parking lot. Alright, so we got our KHED pressure transducer installed in cylinder number two. I could not get that downstream oxygen sensor out. Actually broke a wrench. So that was being stubborn. Uh, so let's set up our Pico scope here. All you have to do is select custom scale for 200 PSI. Turn on your transducer. Make sure you're on the zero line and crank it over. And by the way, the plug that I took out, yeah, it looks black. And uh, the tech said he already changed all the spark plugs because they look black. So that's a, you know, an effect, not a cause. Well, let's, let's see what happens. That's all we need. It smells like garbage. All right, are we gonna, guess what we're gonna see here? <laughs> 35 PSI on the exhaust stroke. So let's look when we started. So that's the exhaust right there. It should be close to zero. Classic. And then look, it just goes through the roof. This car, this engine cannot breathe. You can barely idle. So we hit a maximum of 40 PSI. Um, and then and we're done. So recommendation is new catalytic converter and an oil change. That's it, this car should be good as new, but we can't test drive it until we put that new catalytic converter on. So you have to you know, be very careful about that. It's like, oh, car's perfect. No, no, no. That's just the main customer concern. That will address that. So I assume that should be the you know the big problem. We'll see how it drives. Uh, if that's it, then thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. A little bonus footage. What's the lesson of today? You know, this is a very fast, efficient, quick diagnosis by the symptom. Trouble codes weren't really helpful. We looked at some live data. But what's the, uh, you know, this is the money shot right here. So without a pressure transducer, without a laptop with a Pico scope, how long would this take and could you be 100%? I mean, you could take the oxygen sensor out and install a manual gauge and rev it up. In this case, it's really bad, so you would see a positive pressure. But look how quick and easy this is. Just pop out a spark plug. It's super easy. So, by the way, these are still for sale. Check out the website. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, no comebacks yet on the transducers. We almost sold 100 units uh, in 2021. So get yours while I'm, I still have time to make them. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. So I hope you guys enjoyed the pretty quick and efficient diagnosis on the Kia Soul with the right tools. 100% guaranteed, uh, and the shop tech, the technician told me they replaced the cat, car runs perfect. So, uh, good news on that. Uh, for the pressure transducer giveaway, uh, winner has been selected, Chad Gardy from uh, Washington State. He's actually a long uh, time subscriber, so really happy he uh, got, got number 100, I already sent it out. Um, and for all those people who uh, submitted the form for the giveaway, thank you so much for, for your support. Um, I emailed every single uh, person back. So if you didn't win, you can still buy the transducer. The payment instructions are in the email. And uh, basically, if I don't receive the payment within two business days, then I assume you don't want it, and I'll take you off the waiting list. And the waiting list is getting pretty long, so first come, first serve. Uh, and we'll, uh, we'll get those out to you. So thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate your support and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.